This is the Enjoy Life Podcast, here to help you choose your mindset, goals, and actions so that you can guide your life in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. It does take a little bit of work, some effort on your part, but that effort is worth it because this is your life and you can experience the benefits of the work that you do. And this podcast is here to help. Life doesn't magically turn out exactly how you want. It's up to you to make it happen. Now, you may not have chosen to be exactly where you're at right now in your current situation, but you will choose what you do about it. If you're ready to put forth a little bit of effort, take some small steps toward living the life that you want, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Welcome to episode 119 of the Enjoy Life podcast. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, my name is Nick Maisie. I'm going to be your host. I'm, just, I'm glad that you're joining in uh, on this podcast. I want this podcast to be just a, a source of, of positive material and, and some information that you can use during this time and, and, and throughout life too, uh, obviously. It's just right now I want to be able to help in any way that I can. Uh, if you need a little bit more of the, just kind of the positive, um, you know, encouraging material, you know, then connect with me on Instagram. Uh, it's just at Nick Maisie. And there I'm always just trying to put some, some positive, helpful, uh, good things. You can comment on any of my posts or send me a direct message. If you want more of the material that's similar to this podcast or any of the show notes, uh, you can always go to nickmazie.com and you'll find everything there. And one more quick note, while you're at nickmazie.com, you can always type in the number for the episode, like this episode 119. Uh, so in the little search box uh, on my website, you can just type in 119 and it'll have the, the show notes or, or any links or anything that I recommend uh, or talk about in the podcast there too. So what are we talking about today? Well, if you saw the title of this, you know, we're talking about addressing different kinds of stress. And, and see, reducing stress, it's just a more, it's more important now than just about ever. Um, and, you know, it's one of those things that it can help you to enjoy life more. You know, it's an Enjoy Life podcast. You know, and reducing stress can help you to enjoy life more. Oh. And with all this uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic going on and all the stress that it comes with that uh, and how it's impacting our lives and just changing, uh, you know, everything, you know, how we live and, and our habits and our daily routine, uh, then it's really important to remember that we can do things to address stress. Uh, you know, it's good for the body. It's good for the mind. And you might think that, you know, practicing stress reduction or relaxation techniques you know, kind of goes more for when life is busy and you're running around trying to do a whole lot of things. And, and what, what about when you're stuck at home? You know, when you're stuck at home and you really can't go, you can't go to the office, you can't do a lot of things like that. Um, well, then why would I be doing some relaxation when, when I'm not running myself ragged? Well, because if, if you're if you're like me, then uh, then with everything that's changed, there's different stress that comes along with that. It might not be the different, a stress of having to run and do a whole lot of errands and scramble to get all these things done, uh, in your day. You know, it might be a different kind of stress uh, that that's coming about because of uh, just the situation that we're in. And today I just want to share some different techniques and just different simple things that you can do, you know, in your home, obviously, you know, so there's some different things that you can do that can help to address uh, your, the stress in your life and, and it can help you to just kind of reset a little bit so that you can make the most of where you're at and be the best that you can be. Because it's really, really difficult, if not impossible to do those things, you know, just, you know, like I said, making the best of where you're at when, when you're stressed out, you, you can't think to the best of your ability. You can't enjoy life as much when the stress is really just impacting everything. Because it is one of those things that it impacts our bodies, our minds, our emotions, our happiness, you know, and even how we interact with each other. Stress can impact all these things. You know, it even impacts the immune system. Now, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to dive into that one. But the simple fact is that, you know, that the stress on our, in our bodies, how we handle it, you know, it impacts all of us. It, it does. So we're going to take a few minutes and just explore some different ways to reduce stress or, or to relax um, that, that you can use. Okay, so the first one, the first kind of group, it's really great if, if you're getting a little bit worked up. You know, if you're noticing that that, that heart rate's uh, increasing and you're just struggling just to find a little bit of that peace. Uh, well, you know, if you need a, just a fresh start throughout the day, uh, you need to kind of re refresh, get a new or restart. Then a great way to do that is through a breathing exercise. You know, there's a few different breathing techniques out there. Um, one is the the box or, or square breathing technique. And it's really neat. Uh, if you just kind of Google uh, box breathing or square breathing, uh, you can find some, some images with it, even some YouTube videos. 
And what's what's cool, you know, is if you if you look at one of the images, it really all it is is a box. You know, you're kind of looking at a box, and uh, it's a square. And when uh, a square is the same on all four sides, it's kind of a definition of a square. And so with this breathing technique, what you're going to do is you're just going to breathe in, you know, like breathing in through the nose. That's kind of how I was trained in school. Is you know you breathe in through the nose for a count of four, and you hold for a count of four, and then you'll breathe out slowly through the mouth for a count of four. And you'll hold for a count of four. And so you know, every one of those counts is the same. And so when you're looking at an image of this, if you, if you Google box square breathing technique, uh, then it's, it has a, a one, two, three, four on each side. And so as you're doing your breath, kind of in through the nose and hold and out through the mouth and hold, then you're, and you're counting to one, two, three, four, you kind of can follow that square with your eyes. And what it does is it really helps kind of grab your attention visually because you're, you're looking at it and it helps focus the mind on that as well as the, the kind of calming effect that that breathing in that manner has on the body and the heart rate. And it really can help just kind of to give you a little bit of a, re a restart, you know, just kind of reset everything uh, and just start over. It's really cool. Now, there's also the, the kind of a calming breath which you, you may have heard a lot of these things. And it's actually has a longer exhale than inhale. Like you might inhale through the nose for a count of four, hold for a count of five, and then exhale for a count of seven. Um, that's really, really good at reducing the, the, the heart rate uh, too. Some are good for a little bit different situations. Um, play around with it a little bit. Uh, e either way, you know, a breathing technique where you're kind of focusing on your breath and doing your counting, and the mainly the slow exhale is is going to be really powerful. Try it. Try it. It's one of those things that's so simple. We we've br 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 breathed our whole entire lives, obviously, but when you get really intentional and, and you kind of choose and, and monitor that and and take control over that. Controlling that breath ends up giving you a little bit more control and feeling of control uh, to the moment, you know, and, and, to, and to where you're at right then. And so try it to, as a little bit of a, a restart throughout the day. It's powerful and it's really cool because you can do it anywhere. You can really do it without a whole bunch of other people noticing that you're doing it too. So you can actually do it anywhere. All right. So that's a great one if, if you're getting kind of kind of worked up and and just give it a try. Try it in different situations and it might help. The next one I want to talk about is kind of if the mind's starting to race, uh, you know, if it's kind of jumping from this thing to that thing and, and you're getting, you know, a little bit worked up, but it's more like your mind's racing all over the place. Uh, and that's, you know, definitely can be, can be stressful and it can really snowball and just kind of build on itself. And so one of the a great, simple, easy technique to, uh, that you can do for this is it's called alphabet calm. And, and I recently learned about this and it's just, it's so cool. So you have the alphabet, right? A, B, C, D, you know, okay. Uh, and then what you're doing is you find something that you're going to try to name for each of those letters. So it might be like people's names. And you would say, you know, A uh, would be Anna. Uh, B would be Brad. C might be Carrie. Uh, D would be Dave. And, you know, don't, don't pick a category that, that's too restrictive because it's going to be really difficult to make it through all the letters. But the thing is, is that when you go through and you have to try to think of something with the, that next letter, it actually becomes a little bit difficult and it requires your mind to think about it. So then you're shifting your focus away from what it was on, whatever that, that racing thought was, into going through the alphabet and, and naming something of, of each one of the letters. I said, it's, it's not like a, a miracle cure, but it's it's amazing because how simple it is and how powerful and effective it can be for addressing what you want to address. So if you want to call, uh, kind of stop that racing mind and, and bring the attention back to just you know in the moment, then try the alphabet calm. All right. Another thing that can be really stressful and it, and it can kind of add to it can add to the anxiety and get us worked up is you know wishing for things to be different. Now. I know that I you know can't be the only person that would that wants this COVID-19 thing to go away for them to find a cure, a vaccine, a treatment, whatever. Um and I want things to be different. Um so but when that gets too much, you know when 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 the focus and all the thoughts are just about wanting things to be different, it can be kind of a little bit of a negative negative downward spiral where uh some more of that doom and gloom, some more of that stress comes out. Because all we're focusing on is wanting things to be different. 
And what that does, it, it takes us out of the present moment. And, and we can't, you can't enjoy where you're at. You can't enjoy life if, if all the attention and focus and energy is on wanting things to be different. So what, what and, and all that's stressful. So what can you do about it? Uh, well, one, one major thing is to try to be present in the moment. Uh, and it's, I don't know, being present when you don't want to be where you're at, that, that sounds dumb, maybe, but you know, try to just be present in the moment because there, there are good things and the simple things in life. If you focus on all the things that you don't have or that you can't do, it's gonna, life's going to be miserable. But if you just kind of get bring yourself back to the moment, back to the present, and, and just try to make the best of your situation where you're at right now, it, it ends up being a lot better. This is something I've been working on a whole lot uh, because there's things that I'd like to do that I can't do right now. And if I focus on that, then it just kind of sucks. Uh, but if I bring myself back to the present and just kind of enjoy and make the best of my day, uh, and I intentionally try not to think about all the other stuff, but think about where I'm at right now in that moment, uh, it, it actually is, is pretty good. And, and one of the things that you can do to kind of help with that is that you can uh, try to practicing a little bit of a mindfulness or a little bit of meditation. Uh, you know, there's, there's different things that goes right along with, with the breathing exercises uh, and stuff. There's all different kinds of places that you can find for, to get some, some mindfulness exercises or some meditation exercises. Uh, I'm not a, an expert in that. I'm not going to try to uh, coach you through it. I love the headspace app. Uh, that, that's, I don't, I don't have an affiliate uh, connection with them at all. Um, but it's just one of the things that kind of I did for a, a long time and they have just a, a two minute or I'm sorry, a three minute or a five minute or 10 minute little exercise. And I've done that so many times that now I just kind of can close my eyes and set a, a timer on my phone and, and do a, a quick little mindfulness exercise myself without even listening to it. And that's really, that's really cool. Um, but they do have a free kind of version of the app. Just, just check it out. Uh, like I said, it's Headspace or any, any, any place you can find so some simple little mindfulness exercises to help you to kind of bring yourself back to the present moment. And specifically with wanting things to be different, you know, and focusing on what, what, what you can't do or what you don't have, a, a great way to uh, address the stress that that can bring is to start a gratitude journal. Uh, just writing down the things that you're grateful for. Uh, that's huge. That's huge. Uh, recently, I had to kind of do this again. Uh, working through the Jim Rohn, um, like 52 weeks of, of self-development. Um, and that was for last week was, you know, writing down 20 things that I'm grateful for having in my life. And it just kind of reminded me of this great exercise. And it, it's so helpful because there, there are things to be grateful for. Okay. Yeah. There's things you don't have. Okay. There's, everybody has things that they don't have. Um, but there's things to be grateful for in our lives, even with this shelter at home or, or lockdown or quarantine or, or whatever. You know, there's still things to be grateful for. Um, and so just writing them down and focusing, your, making yourself think about it for a minute, at least as you're writing. And let alone, you, you can review it too. And that just adds more power. It just adds more power to it. And if you're going to do this though, do write it down. The, the writing with your hand and having to think about it and write it out uh, definitely adds more power to uh, the gratitude, not just thinking about it, uh, but do write it down. So, and, and you can review it too. So those are a few things to uh, address the stress of wanting things to be different. Now, you might have some stress of uh, just all the things to do. Um, you know, it might be things to do around the house or with the family or just a to-do list that you have. Um, uh, I love this technique. I love all of, all of them. That's why I'm sharing them with you. Um, but th this one, it, it's, 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 I love it. It's called the big three. The big three. Whatever, whatever you're trying to accomplish, try to just have three things. So, and you can use this for any time frame. You know, it can be great for a day, a, a day. You have the big three things that you want to do for the day. Um, just what are the three major things? And there might be other things that, that you, that you want to get done and all that, but you know, the three main things. And that way, if you knock out one of the main things that you got to do that day, then that, that's huge. Like you're on the right track and you're moving forward. You know, if you, if you have a big goal, okay, well, what are the three main things that you got to accomplish for that big goal? All right. Then, and you kind of break things down like this. Three is really cool because it's easy to kind of remember and keep track of three things. 
you know, this, this relates to, to a whole bunch of stuff. You know, if you were giving a presentation or a, a talk, you know, trying to distill it down to three main points, you know, that's huge for the people that they can remember it. Well, if you want to accomplish something, you know, break it down to three main things. Three, it's not only can you keep track of it, but you can address those things uh, in just a more straightforward manner because you're keeping track of it in your mind. And then when you knock out one of your big three, you can feel good about it. You know, that day can be a success because you took care of one of the three major things. And if you go three for three, you know, that's all the better. You know, the big three can be great for, for times that you're, that you're stressed out, you know, have things to do, or and just, like I guess, just kind of going forward. You know, in fact, all these techniques, you know, I really think that you can use just going forward. Some are a little bit more for when, when the stress is high or, or when the mind is racing. Um, and then some are just kind of good for, you know, life in general, you know, like having some, some, uh, mindfulness exercises, you know, being present in the moment and that gratitude journal, the big three, you know, those I'm saying, you know, all the time, you know, just having those in your life, I think are beneficial. And they're the ones that I try to keep in my life, uh, regardless of where I'm at, uh, right then. But you can be intentional, be intentional. So you can do something when the stress is high or just life's not exactly how you want it to be, be intentional. You get to choose what you do. Well, let me rephrase that. You choose what you do. You know, and that's one of the things that you'll hear me say all the time. It's in the intro of the podcast is you can choose your mindset, your goals, and your actions. You know, you can, you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want it to go. This current situation is probably not one that you just wanted to be in or that you picked. You know, so you may not have chosen to be exactly where you're at right now. But the fact of the matter is that you're going to choose what you do about it and you can do something about it. You can be intentional. These simple techniques, you know, of, of the breathing techniques, the, you know, alphabet calm, being present, me, uh, meditating, a gratitude journal, using the big three. These are simple things that you can choose to do so that you can make the most of where you're at right now to be able to take advantage of things that you can take advantage of and, and move forward in the right direction. That's best for you and your life. And then when the outside situation changes and improves, improves, you're going to be so much better off because you are intentional right now. You can do this. You can do it. And I do hope and pray that, that you stay safe and healthy, you know, and they all just make, make it through this together uh, and, and that we take advantage of the time to, to better ourselves so that when we do get through this, you know, we're even better because of it. You know, it's, it's these challenges, these tough times right now that are going to make us stronger you know, and, and better because we will be intentional. We will do the best that we can do. Well, that's, that's what I have for today's episode. So thank you for listening to the Enjoy Life podcast. If you want the show notes for this, you can just go to nickmazy.com and search for 119. Uh, this is for episode 119. And really do connect with me on Instagram. It's at Nick Mazy. Uh, you can shoot me a direct message, you know, what you think about this episode or, or what you're doing to address the things that you need to address in your life right now. If you are ready to, to set some new goals, you know, to kind of really be intentional with, with where you're focused and where you're going so that you can, can guide your life to go where you want, uh, go to nickmazy.com slash CLT. That's for creating life targets. And I got a lot of information on it right there. You know, I know I'm biased, but I think it's a, a lot of great information because I spend a lot of time putting it together. I put it together to be able to help you achieve what you want and enjoy your life. Once again, that's nickmazy.com slash CLT. Thanks again for listening. Take care. And I can't wait to talk to you again in the next episode.